Hey guys, what up? This is the Ghastly Gang Guy here today to bring you Dongan Rampa 2. So, you might notice that I'm using a controller now because last time I was having some problems with, uh, with the, um, mouse and keyboard. So, I mean, hopefully it's not too hard to control now. a little wonky but I can get used to this All right. um, it's been a while since I recorded the last episode so I might not remember everyone's voices uh, last time I recorded hey, it hey come on god I had no idea this Hope Speak Academy was placed it's gonna be such a pain in my balls it really ain't that much different from the time I spent in juvie hell this place is even worse uh, um. and that's why there's anyone here Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't this, like, seriously not good? <gasps> They're trying to spook us. Let's we'll take those metal plates down later, I'm sure of it. <gasps> All you can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <sighs> shit. Why well, hell? It, is... <laughs> it ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's get over with this shit. Hey, damn it. Hey, where's whoever called us here? What are you thinking? What? Mondo, no, stop running. Well then. I shall go too. <coughs> hey, wait. Don't leave me all alone here. As you can notice, um, yeah, I kinda forgot the voices I gave them. I guess it would have been smart to rewatch the episodes that I already did record, but or the episode that I already recorded, but Nope. You press Y button to observe what your room you're in, yeah. It's nice that they tell me, even though I already did that, because I don't know how to do... Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess. I'll be an RB the same version of the camera. Alright, yeah, this isn't bad. Um, I'm gonna just go straight into the gym. Still filled with uneasy dread. I did what was announced and said and went to the gym. And what I saw they're waiting for with us. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo! See? Told ya. It's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Heroes, right? But in a way, that's just emphasizing how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there! Howdy! Hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! Huh? A teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. Did you kind of are? I am Mokuma! <laughs> Sorry, my throat's like all weird today. And I am this school's headmaster! It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was. What I was seeing was it was utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all! Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was a complete out of place. Not that anxiety I've been carrying with me suddenly transformed into however I fear. Say what? That teddy bear can talk. That teddy bear can. That teddy bear can talk. Uh, I'm uh. <gasps> Calm down. I'm sure, there's a speaker inside of it. Hey, come on now. I told you already. I'm not a teddy bear. Head man. I'm Matakuma, and I'm your headmaster. Wow, I really suck at these voices. Say what? It moved! Ugh, shit. Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote control a toy or something. <clears throat> How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep, deeper than Marina Trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate it or recomprehend it. <laughs> But don't make any say. Uh, don't make me say stuff to make destroy NASA's dreams. I couldn't bear that. Well, bad, really. You are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on. We really might just hurry and get started. 
Come on. Giving up already? No stupid bear puns? Now then. Quiet down now. Quiet down. Ah, okay. So... He has abandoned the gag. Good morning! Everyone should stay in attention and bow. And good morning. You hear me? Good morning. What's your problem? Y you don't have to say it back. Now then. Now then, let's commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First off, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like. Now, uh, make no mistake, a few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will all live in communal life together solely with the confines of this school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of this school. Huh? Hmm. And now then, regarding the end date to the communal life, Too bad. there isn't one. In other words, you'll be here until the day you die. Such a school life, you've been assigned. <laughs> what, what did he just say? Until the day we die? Yep. Oh, but don't not, do not fear. We have quite an abundant budget, so we won't lack in any of the commu uh, common conveniences. Uh, hold on a second. That's the least of our worries right now. Hmm. Yeah, like, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? It's true. I'm not screwing with you. I'm no liar. Of that, you could be 100% sure. Uh-huh. And just so your information, you completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about those dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off? So all these metal plates over the school? They were to keep us trapped in here? Phew. That's exactly what they're meant for. No matter how much you weigh or yell, scream for help, help will not come. So with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life here in the reckless abandon. Hey, come on! Come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if the school, whoever else is behind it all, just a really bad joke. D damn you! Yeah, cut this shit out, it isn't funny anymore. Unbelievable. You keep saying this is a lie or a joke, a bunch of skeptics all of you. What are you gonna do? But I guess it can't be helped, huh? You all grew up in an age where you were taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak with undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having you live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come on now. What's the matter with all of you? You decided on your own free will to attend Hope Street Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you already decided you want to leave? Hey, um... No, oh, but, you know... I guess I did forget to something. nothing. There is one way to leave the school. <laughs> really? Actually... As headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now then. Now then, let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we are all in a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be able to leave the school. That's my students, is the graduation, the graduation clause. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know, if one person were to murder another. M murder? Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crashing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you wish to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it all you achieve to the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, right? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world, but, you know, taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkness and shadow of despair. Extreme! And I just find that so darn exciting. What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other? It... it's... Huh? To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary somewhere if you need it. 
We know what it means. It's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Say what? Yeah, stop blabbering on with this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering. 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 What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on. How strange. You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go! You keep saying the same thing over and over again. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it! And you can kill as much as you want to kill, so go again! Go on a kill, kill, killing spree! <sighs> Alright, come on, how are you going to keep this up? You know? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. So we can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm right, right? Yeah, because, I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like... Ugh, shit. Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Shoving Hero aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Montecuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. Listen up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What do you mean? Like your hair? You son of a bitch! I think that's a perfect reaction instead of reading that, so... Mondo roared out and there was even a sudden boom. It was the sound of floorboards and kicked off and launched himself in the air. He flew up Montecuma fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! Damn. What? Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Hey, damn it. Oh, sorry, I was doing something. Piece of shit! Stop that goddamn beeping and say something! Watch out! Watch out! Get rid of it! Huh? Huh? Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if it ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word, he did what he was told. He threw Montecuma. And as soon as he did, The hell? What the? This shit wasn't a joke. He blew the hell up. It was a painful ringing in my ears and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life, I never see anything like it. But, but, you know, this means that the teddy bear has been destroyed, right? Hey! I told you, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Matakuma. Huh? There's another one? D damn you! You son of a bitch, you seriously tried to kill me just now! Of course! Well, yes, I was seriously tr I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat on the butt. This is bad. So this... So this mean like there's a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep. Montecumas have been placed all throughout the school. Yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you get caught breaking any of the rules, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> and I won't be for so uh, so forgiving with my punishment next time. So don't let it happen again. Huh? That's not even a punishment. That's just wrong. Well? Now and then lastly, to commemorate our joyous entry into this new school, let's have, so I have something for you. Yep, I know English. This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital. So naturally, we call it the e-handbook. E. Hmm. Hmm, yes. Now, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to the healthy school life, so don't lose it! When you start it up, it will display your name and always make sure you have the right one. <laughs> now, this is not your everyday notebook, it has so many more uses than that! What? 
awesome. It's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it, keep on ticking. And thanks to the Space Age design, it can withstand an impact force of 10 tons. Very resistant. We're connecting all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You guys. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of the school regulation will not be tolerated. Shing! Rules, restricts, yes, they also protect society, for example. Would be utter chaos without laws. Yes, indeed! The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial to have strict punishments in place for you violators. Alright, okay, so that brings the end of our entrance ceremony. Bye bye Please enjoy your abundant dreary school life, and see ya. And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. <laughs> so guys, how would you define what we just experienced? What the crap? How, how, I don't understand any of this. Huh? We have to li live here forever or kill? <laughs> what just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we just need to keep calm. First, let's take a second to summarize everything I just heard. Based on what Montecuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one. We stay here living a communal life together until the day we die. And there's two other choices. Indeed. If we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? That's... But, but killing someone, that's... <laughs> yeah, that guy with no way to be stuffed into a place like this and it looks like a school? And now we're supposed to start killing each other off? This, this is... <laughs> This this is just what is this? Ridiculous. A lie. A lie is it? A lie it is. The ridiculous things we heard, it's all has to be fake. Hm. Right now it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is So in other words Is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? Is that? Nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost feel the taste of hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized that the true terror hidden within the rules Montecuma have laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words have planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became as suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? And that was how my school life began. The school life that had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. This is not a school of hope. It's... A school of despair. No. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze, my breath caught in my throat as soon as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing feel slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve, or dominating every last word. Air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. Took everything I had just to endure that weight. And as heavy as the air felt, all of it took a pierce from my sharp words. So, what are we gonna do now? Hey. Just stand around glaring at each other? The pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull all of us back into reality. Yeah. Right, she's right. Listen to me! Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. <clears throat> to forget such a simple fact, I cannot forgive myself. I am so ashamed! You hear me? Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Somebody punish me. Huh? Jesus, you have time to yell about it. You have time to do something about it. However... Perhaps, but... What? 
is the mission exactly? Stupid. Idiot, look for a way out, duh. What the? And we need, totally need to find whoever's controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. But, but. But, before we do that, we must, we should take on a look at the handbook. It's probably the best to check out the school of regulations Montekuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True, if we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like this might happen again. Shit. Alright, so Fine. then... Fine, let's hurry and check out the stupid rules already. Makoto Nagi. After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. Just like Montekuma said, the owner's name shows up front and center. Then from the main menu popped up is the school regulations icon. Item uh, list appears on the screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules that imposed on all of us. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving camp is an unacceptable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. With the minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your description. Violence against the headmaster, Montekuma is strictly prohibited as destruction of, or as destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes a blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. A digital school of regulations may be added if necessary. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone else's faces. Stop fucking around! This is bullshit! What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me! <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school with the care in your world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However... But if he got punished, like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Yo. Uh, ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding things into my head. Even with a man makes a promise, he has to keep it even if it kills him. And? So what? What? I've made a ton of promises that I can't have, uh, that I still have to keep, so what? Piece of shit! So he can't afford to die here. <sighs> None of that made much sense to me, but so you were saying we'll not allow, uh, you will follow the school regulations, is that it? That's true. Huh? Oh, well yeah, I guess you're right. Um... Say, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered? I was wondering that myself. Hmm. Sorry, I'm moving stuff around. No! Fuck. Oh, I just accidentally shut down my laptop while uploading a video. Luckily, all the Pokemon videos are uploaded, and it was just the first episode of this. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill somebody without anyone finding out. <laughs> it was you. But but why? What, what do we have to do that? I don't see any reason to have to... I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following these rules they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for the others to decide what to do for them. <laughs> D don't jab at me. Give me a break. More like a full-on stab. Hmm. Well, for now, let's forget all the silly junk about murders or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. Hmm. True. We need to find out exactly where we are. Are there any way out? What about a food? What about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it. Damn straight. All right. Let's get all start looking around. Hmm. Fuck. I'll be going alone. What? What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Hmm. Someone here might already have the started thinking about murdering one of us. 
Are you saying we should all stand around with them in our midst and make sure that's much easier for them? Uh, hold on a second. Wait, hold on. They would never. What? Don't bother saying it. It could happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why y'all seized up in fear when the graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um. But, but. <laughs> so I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on. Like hell, I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant. They possibly couldn't have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. You're fucking dead. I'm gonna kick your ass. So, s stop it, we shouldn't fight. What? What the fuck you say? You some kind of goody-goody little bitch. You wanna throw down? Do you wanna think talking like that? You think you're my fucking dad or something? No, I wasn't. You son of a bitch. Fuck you. He punched me. And I flew back into a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was staying there. The next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I kind of forgotten the kind of people I'm trapped here with. My common sense has just been stopped functioning, maybe around all these ultimates has blown my fuse. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised to lead to something as absurd as this. But I lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought of my conscience started to fade before it finally cut out completely. When I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Yeah. Huh? Where am I? I've been completely part of my daily routine. I woke up in yet another room I had never seen before. Okay, so... Where am I now? You're not back to the blah blah. Open the handle for some X buttons. You know, at certain points, the map and bullets turn out to be available. You can also save board games at certain points for the back buttons. You turn to go. That's for all parent. Uh, parents with info use to review comments of the following walls. This would appear to be the bathroom. Huh? It's not opening. I guess it's locked. There's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall which says, An announcement from the Headmaster Montakuma. Each room has a lock and disc. Uh, each room has been dis and designed to completely protect against tampering or pick locking. Lock picking. Remaking an individual rookie is quite troublesome, so please don't make it sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with shower, but please note that water is turned off at nighttime. Also, the bathroom in the girls' room includes a lock of their own. Finally, prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. And for the boys, a toolkit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vitals organs. One stab will do the job, girls. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think. Just feel. Let's all enjoy ourselves. I crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. <coughs> Sorry. It looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. Must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. How big is that toolkit? Because it doesn't look that big. I really don't need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. This must be the key to my room. My name's written on the keychain, which means it must be mine, right? Better hang it up for now. Or hang on to it for now. Just an everyday trash can. I don't see any kind of trap door or hidden compartments or anything. All that's in the trash can is this paper I wadded up and threw away. Lint roller. It's some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. 
There's some kind of metal plate mounted here. Is this supposed to keep us trapped in here? No. I want the camera. Oh, I want the camera, goddammit. There we go. Surveillance camera. I hate the idea that someone may be watching me right now. We're not allowed to mess with the cameras. Better make sure not to touch it. Looks like this door leads outside. It's locked. So the rooms have locks, huh? I think they're starting to understand what this room might be. Sleeping anywhere outside the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and will shall be punished accordingly. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers one question. The next question is, what's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out, and that's to get out of here. Or, wait till next time. Sorry guys, but I'm trying to keep these videos only 30 to 45 minutes each. And I think we got a pretty good ground, cover ground covered. Um, maybe I could start doing... Really? Really? Fucking really? Maybe I'll start doing like maybe longer episodes. I don't, um, maybe, I, I guess sometimes I could do like an hour episode or something. But that would, I, don't, I don't really know. If you want the episodes to be longer than 30 minutes, let me know. I don't know how exactly how long this game's going to be. So I don't know how long it's going to be. Because this is only going up on Saturdays and Sundays. So, I don't know. Maybe if we complete the Soul Link soon, I'll move this out to my main, main project. And then do a side project on then. And do like five episodes a week of this. Or like three days a week. I don't know. Sure. But yeah, guys. If you like this, like, comment, subscribe. Um... Uh, t tell me in the description, uh, what's your favorite kind of detective-like game like this? Like, Phoenix Wright, or maybe there's another one I haven't known about. So, um, yeah. Until next time, Bye bye As soon as I can stop the recording.